So California actually put single payer health care on the shelf and said, fuck you, right? Super majority, the Democrat Party, the Democratic Party, they control the governor, they control the legislature, by the Supreme Court, they control all the branches of the government in California, but can we get ourselves some universal health care? Can we solve homelessness by building some homes? My God, are we going to end the war? What about police brutality? Are we going to get anything accomplished? Will we get anything accomplished in America's, you know, former progressive liberal wonderland? There's, what, nine more days before September 14th, and this whole thing is over. Nine more days. That's just over a week. And this is a perfect time for a new force to vote moment. The legislature is in session right now. They can introduce Medicare for all Californians on the floor on Monday, on Tuesday, on Thursday on whatever the uh, supermajority in both the Senate and the Assembly. So maybe, I mean, when I say supermajority, like, I mean, like a couple. No, I mean, like, in the Senate in California, you got 40 members in the Senate. You got 80 members in the House, right? 120 people is going to represent 40 million. Okay, I digress. 40 members in the Senate. Out of those 40 members in the Senate, nine of those are Republicans. One is empty. There's just an empty chair, you know. He probably is one of the best representatives there, the empty chair. At least he can't do no damn damage. So nine Republicans and 30 Democrats. 30 Democrats. So that means nine Republicans can vote whatever the fuck they want to. The Democrats can completely ignore the Republicans. As long as you get what? 16, get 16 Democrats, they vote for one thing, and then they all have to jump on board, and then they look at the Republicans and say, ah, fuck you, we don't even need your damn vote, and then they do whatever the hell they want to do to begin with. They're the principled opposition. They have, like, no goddamn power. The fucking Republicans can only, you know, speak truth to power. They can be Internet celebrities, but they're not going to get any legislation passed. They're not going to be effective leaders or government men and women. Now, you have 80 members in the House, right? So 30 of the 40 are Democrats in the Senate. In the House, 60 of the 80. 60 of 80. So it's the same percentage, 75%. 75% of the House and 75% of the Senate are Democrats. You got 19 Republicans and one Independent in the House also. They call it the Assembly. California's House is called the Assembly. It's not the People's House. It's not Parliament. It's not the Lower House. It's not the General Assembly. It's the, oh, the Assembly. Oh, the Assembly. It's all that pompous snobbery, right? The Lower House. You're the Lower House Assembly. Why don't you just, why don't you assemble this? Tony Atkins leads the Senate. These are the Democrats. Tony Atkins leads the Senate. And Elois, 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 Reyes, Reyes, Reyes leads the Assembly. So in order for the Democrats to get something passed, Gavin Newsom would have to talk to you know, the leader of the Senate and the leader of the Assembly and say, hey, let's get universal health care on the floor so we can vote on it. And then they would have to write it up and then they would have to put it on the floor to vote and then they would all have to go vote on it. Just, you know, 27% of America's homeless are in California, 160,000 out of 600,000. So where are all of America's homeless? In California. Hey, California, thank you from the bottom of my heart, straight out of Cal, uh, Colorado. Thank you, California, for housing 27% of America's homeless. You are shouldering the lion's share of the epidemic for whatever reason. Because you're nice people. Because you're nice people, that's why. The Democratic Party currently holds veto proof supermajorities. In both houses of the California State Legislature, the Assembly consists of 60 Democrats and 19 Republicans with one Independent, while the Senate is composed of 30 Democrats and 9 Republicans, also with one vacancy. So this is about Assembly Bill 1400. I actually didn't really like this bill. It was clunky, and it was, went on and on and on. Didn't want to read the fucking thing. 
but you got to sort of, you know, get all these other health care programs and put it into. So they had this bill, the new system, somebody, Cal Rowe, wrote it up, Assembly Bill 1400 called CalCare. CalCare would expand coverage to nearly 3 million uninsured Californians. It would provide rich benefits, including dental care, generous prescription drug coverage, long-term care. Nearly 20 other Assembly Democrats signed on to the legislation, which is among the first state-based single-payer proposals to be introduced. Under the Biden administration, Massachusetts lawmakers this year introduced similar legislation, and other states are considering it. It was sponsored by the California Nurses Association, a powerful union and political force in Sacramento. The single-payer bill is expected to ignite a fierce health care fight among liberal and moderate Democratic lawmakers and draw intense opposition from deep pocketed health industry groups including insurers, doctors and hospitals. California needs Medicare for all medical coverage, vision, dental, hospital services, long term care, prescription drugs. This seemed clunky, I don't know. Maybe if they explained it more and I had more time to kind of look at it, but really just just write that. California needs Medicare for all, group everything together, have vision, dental, hospital, long term care, and just have the model that you want a person who lives in California to be able to go into the hospitals of California and get taken care of and then walk away, not ask about insurance or this or that, ask about nothing. What's your ailments? And then, you know, here's your information to get your, you know, what the fuck ever, but in terms of money, hey, you got enough money to pay us? No, well, then we're going to treat you like shit the whole time you're here, okay? <laughs> That's the Hippocratic Oath, right? The Hippocratic Oath is you treat poor people like shit the whole time they're there in the hospital. Because you got to take care of them, right? you got to fucking go take care of them. And then uh, how are you going to pay for it? Well, you can pay for it by the profits of the PG&E takeover, right? Or payroll, uh, independent income taxes, premiums. But uh, take uh, the nationalization of uh, electricity. Nationalization of electricity is, there's two people, I think David Moore, both David, or no, Loeb's, it was that Loeb's guy. David Moore and Loeb's and then Kapilovitz. Last thing I want to mention is Otto Van Bismarck's 1883 healthcare system. So how many models do we have? We got a shit ton of models, right? Let's do the Germany system. Let's do the Iceland system. Let's do the Sweden system. Let's do the... Canada says, there's a million, let's do the Cuba system. there's a million fucking goddamn healthcare systems that we can model ourselves. I want to point to Otto Van Bismarck's 1883 healthcare system because it was free or very fucking cheap. It was just administrative costs for the government. And what they did was force the employers and the employees to divvy up the cost for healthcare. So, okay, you went there, you got some, you're going to pay into a health care fund and then it's going to pay the health care services people and two-thirds of that fund is going to be paid by the employees and one-third of that fund is going to be paid by the employers. So it forced both the workers, both the proletariat and the capitalist to pitch in and that was it. So he, the government paid nothing. They just made the business owners and the, you know, capitalist class and the working class, the proletariat, paid two-thirds, you know, and one-third. The workers paid two-thirds. The owners paid one-third of the medical, the, the trust fund, the health care cost. And then from that fund, you got clinics and hospitals and the, you know, either private or public services in that neighborhood. He did that shit in 1883. He did that to stop communism, but it's actually called state socialism. But uh, it was very cheap. It was very cheap. So Bernie cares like trillions of fucking dollars. This Cal care might be trillions of fucking dollars. Otto Van Bismarck's 1883 health care system, dirt fucking cheap. You probably could do it for a million bucks. I mean, for like California, that's like cheap as shit. Get one fucking guy that you trust. Give him a million dollars and just tell him to do Otto Van Bismarck's, that's where you begin, that's where you start, and then, you know, tell me you want to do Germany's model, you can do Denmark's model, Switzerland's model, France's model, Italy's model, so many models. So, is that it? The Bismarck system seems better than the beverage system.
See, the Bismarck model, also referred to as social health insurance model, it's a limited health care system in which people pay a, a fee to a fund in turn, pays health care activities that can be provided by state-owned institutions, other government body-owned institutions, or a private institution. There you go. The Bismarck system seems better than the beverage system, and it's uh, better than California's. Not